This is what the Scout S3 looks like. Your current clamps get connected here to CT1, 2 and 3. This is what the current clamp looks like. Um, this current clamp has got a 150 amp uh, limit and these will be pre-connected positive and negative to these terminals. Then on the top here is where you connect your Scout to um, AC power. So if you set up the Scout S3 as a um, single phase monitor, you can bridge these three terminals as I did here, these three live terminals, and it will only use one voltage in the calculations. And there's your neutral, and you can connect this cable to the DB board. The first wiring chart is for a single phase application with three current clamps. Current clamp one is on the mains, current clamp two and three are on two other loads. Remember that you can deduct load values from each other in the software. So usually people measure an oven or a geyser here and then deduct those loads and then they can size the solar system with the remaining values. The second one is a three phase wiring chart. And then you've got a aerial. So this is a Wi-Fi unit. It needs Wi-Fi to send data. Uh, this aerial just screws on over here. Once your scout unit has AC power coming in, the run light will shine. This means the unit has power. So the next step is to connect your phone to the scout unit and then via your phone connect the scout unit to the site's Wi-Fi. Okay, first step is go to the um, Android Play Store. In the Play Store type in Scout Connect. Make sure you choose the app with the blue S icon. Uh, you can see the icon on screen, Scout Connect by Scout Energy. Then you can install this app, and then that's on your phone. The next step is to go to your phone's Wi-Fi, like if you were looking for to connect to any ho home Wi-Fi. Then the Scout uh, will show up as a Wi-Fi option. You can then connect to the Scout. It will then say you are connected without internet connectivity, which is correct. After that, you go to your Scout Connect app, you open the app and you click Find Scout. The Scout will show up on screen. After that, you can say Scan Wi-Fi. It now scans the local Wi-Fi for the Wi-Fi to put the Scout on. Here it found my Wi-Fi and I then put in the password of the Wi-Fi and I press Connect. Most times when something goes wrong, it's when this Wi-Fi password is not typed in correctly. Make sure you use uppercase, lowercase and it needs to be exactly right. If done successfully, the Wi-Fi light on the Scout unit will go on in about 20 seconds after the connection button was pressed. You can only leave the site once the run and Wi-Fi lights are on. The last check is to go to your profile on scout.energy. On the dashboard, your unit should be there with its serial number. If the unit is successfully connected, there will be a green tick next to the unit and you know that it is transmitting data. Second method works on Android and iOS. You again connect to the Scout like it's a Wi-Fi network. After that, you open your web browser on your phone. Uh, here I've got Chrome. And then you type in the IP address 11.11.11.1 .11 and the screen will appear. The SSID is the Wi-Fi. You can search there for a network. This is your local Wi-Fi. Once you've found the local Wi-Fi, the key is the Wi-Fi password. Please make sure um, that you type it correctly. Leave the run mode on cloud and say save and reboot. This next screen will be the same even if you do um, type in the password incorrectly. That's why it's so important to type it correctly. If successful, the Wi-Fi light will come on in about 20 seconds. And you can log into Scout.Energy to just check that your uh, unit is transmitting data. You can now leave the site.